What's the you have a you have a story about <laughs> you have a blackout story you sent in I wanted to hear about here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I've told the story a few places. I think I, I told it on Rogan, so I, I I feel bad if people already have heard this, but yeah, so I was um I had a serious girlfriend and then we broke up and that's when I was like at my worst because I was like in love with her and she left me. How old are you? This was um, 08, 09. So I guess 27. And you're in New York? Yeah, this is in New York. And so then I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to get another woman, blah, 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 whatever. And looking back, she was just really great at sex. I don't even think I liked her. She was just hot. (laughs) Um, Which is a lot of, I think that's a lot of relationships. Yeah, I was going to say, I completely understand. Yeah, you have like a hot woman or guy whatever that's like fucks really well and then you break up and you're like i love her <laughs> and then years later you're like actually i kind of hated her i yeah. just not that i hated her i like her when we're friendly whatever it doesn't matter um we were friendly before this uh podcast but anyway so i met this other girl that i liked she worked at caroline's comedy club in new york and i started like talking to her she was like the door girl and i was talking to her and i was like, we should all hang and i set up like a group hang so it's not like the pressure of like a date and then I was drinking. I did the show called Bar 82, which was Sam Morrill's show. And I was like doing shots there because there was free drinks. And I remember being on stage at like 8.30 p.m. being like, I am hammered. Like, you know how you have that moment where you're like, whoa, I'm shit faced. It just hit you, yeah. So then I went to Caroline's. I met up with um, a bunch of comic Nate Bargatze, I'm sure you guys know. And we started drinking there. Then we'd go to the shot bar called Barcelona Bar, which is still there. My favorite bar of all time. It was like a, a bar that's like specifies in shots or specializes, I should say. And it's like they have movie themed shots. Like there's a full metal jacket and okay. they put it, you have an army helmet and they're like, you fucking piece of shit, give me 20 <laughs> or whatever. And there's like a Harry Potter and all this shit. So we were just getting banged up and I was doing all these shots. And I knew I was like, I hadn't eaten and I knew I was too drunk, but I wanted to show these girls how fun I was. And uh, I had a flight the next day to Seattle. I was going to the Seattle comedy competition which is a month long. I was leaving for a month the next day. I had like an 8 a.m. flight and just got blacked out drunk. I was hanging out at this bar called 13th Step, ironically. And I was like, <laughs> and I was at the bar. My buddy was, a, my best friend was a bartender there. So we were drinking for free and I'm talking to the girl that I was like into. And I guess I kept, I don't remember this. I was in a blackout. I kept being like, you hate me. You fucking hate me. And then and she who's the, telling you this after? The girl this is like, or your a few buddy? Guys, my buddy okay. came the bartender. All right. And I got a few other buddies in the area too. And then she goes to the bathroom. He's like, dude, you got to stop saying that. He's like, she's into you. That's why she's here. She's like talking to you. You're a fucking idiot. You're blowing it. And then I guess as soon as she came back, I go, you love me. You fucking love me. And I just completely, same okay. behavior, just yeah. changed the fucking <laughs> verb or whatever. Um, but anyways, and at one point, I disappeared for like 15, or like a, a half hour. Like I said goodbye to everybody, left. And this is like, I don't know what the hell happened in this time. And I just reappeared. And there were, I guess everyone was like, where did you go? You left. You said goodbye. And I was like, I know. <laughs> Woo! And like, I just kept going. Like, so I have no idea. That half hour. Two more life, Harry Potters, that, God damn it. <laughs> that, my, that hour of my life or half hour is gone. Anyways, I, ended, I, I have like in and outs of like being back on their couch. Like these girls like had me back at their place and we were drinking beers. And I remember throwing up and I woke up in the next morning. It was bright and I was in one of the, the girl that I liked, her roommate's bed. I just woke up. I was the only one in there. And I had to piss so bad. So all I remember was like, I gotta piss. I, I've never had to piss so bad in my life. And I was like, I gotta find the bathroom because if I piss my pants, I'm gonna be humiliated. And I went, found the restroom, urinated for like nine minutes. And then like <laughs> in the middle of it, I realized, I looked at the time and I'm like, I have a fucking flight in like 30 minutes. Oh, holy shit. So it's gone. Like there's no yeah, chance. No. And I'm like, I live near the airport, but not that close to the airport. And then I started to have this feeling of like, what ha- something went wrong last night and i walked through the living room and the living room table was just like cru- like someone had chris farley at the table <laughs> like it was just like perfectly Flat broken in half <laughs> flattened out and i don't i always say this I, I feel like you ever have that feeling where you're like that was me i know that was me yeah. i don't remember what yeah, happened yeah. but that's got my fa- i did that and then I realized nobody's in the apartment. And I was like, oh my God, I must have walked everybody. Like everyone must have left because I was losing my mind. And then I came back into the bedroom and there was a huge piss stain, like a huge puddle of, it was a fluid, but like that's got to be urine. And then there was a high top Nike sneaker with like a big shit sticking out of it. <laughs> 
like a spiky shit. Sticking the opposite of, of the shit you're having right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this was no oil. This was all uh, was substance. Solid. And then there was like, then solid. I realized there was like pieces of shit Jesus around Christ. it. And then I realized, then I started like retrace my steps and there was like shit on like the kitchen floor, like, like footprint shit. Like I had walked through, like, traipsed it through the house <laughs> like a fucking dog. And right away I was like, I got to kill myself. This is crazy. And so I took the shoe. You remember none of that. No, no, I remember none of it. And I think like, I'm like, I'm a wild animal, but I'm like, I think I must've just thought that was the toilet. Like I had to shit and I was like, this is, must be the bathroom. Cause I don't imagine myself being like, this will be hilarious. I'm also Woo. impressed with the accuracy. Though. I nailed it. I'm also <laughs> like, impressed with the accuracy. In, in a blackout, know. you shit. And I mean, I, I'd be impressed if you hit a toilet. Yeah, I don't know how I did it. It's like someone held my hands and I leaned back or what. But I got it in there and some of it was on the outsides and stuff. <sighs> and then I took my sock off and I picked up the shit with my, like a sock as like oh, a puppet. Oh, God. And I picked it up and then pulled it inside out, which is pretty quick thinking. Mm -hmm. And it, so it was like a shit in a sock and i threw that in the trash and i remember trying to wipe up the kitchen now i'm still drunk basically it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and so i'm like trying to like scrub up as much of the shit as i can but i also was like i gotta go get my shit and get to the airport get my stuff i should say <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you gotta leave your shit <laughs> so i i throw the shit in the toilet and now i mean in the in the, in the uh, trash and then i text these women i'm like i'm so sorry like, i want to kill myself i'm so, so I'm, I'm i'm the worst person on earth and then the woman texts, don't worry, you weren't that bad, and we had a fun time, just whatever. It wasn't like bad. I was like, boy, these girls must fucking party. Like, they were just like, <laughs> okay with it. And I was like, that's insane. So then I go get my <laughs> luggage. I go to the airport. I missed my flight. I had to get a, the next flight, which was a flight to Boston, connects in Boston, then flies from Boston to Seattle. Now, on the flight, at one point, I crossed my legs. And I realized I have shit all up no, my pant leg. No. I'm covered in shit. Oh, no. And it's dude. like on my actual leg and my pant leg. So I slowly, oh, like, God. subtly put it back down. I'm just put like, it ooh. Back down. And then this is like a 3,000 mile flight, <laughs> Boston to Seattle. And you're just into it. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh, oh God. God, I'm covered in shit. So I'm feeling I'm like. Covered in shit. It's crazy. Like, I'm feeling Christ. like the worst shame and I want, I want to die. Oh, God. So then I land. And I turned my phone back on, and now it's like whatever time. It's like 5 p.m. Uh, West Coast time, so it's like 8 o'clock. So now I didn't realize this. I get the text from the girl. goes, oh, my God. We had no idea how bad this was. What the fuck? And I was like, well, that's more like it. <laughs> I was like, that, that feels like the response. And I was, the whole time I was That's like, That's appropriate cool. for taking a shit. Yeah. And, you're, and you, so by the way, you threw everything, but you didn't take that trash out. So no. they're coming home to that plus a sock full of shit in yeah. their trash can that wasn't, it was just the shoe before. Yeah. And there's oh urine. And God. it's like the That's right, like a puddle of on. piss. <laughs> and so the, and the, the, the table's gone. The craziest realization there is, this is what's so insane about it. They had left for work okay, when this happened. So like I shit in a woman's shoe at like 9.30 a.m. Like they had left for work. It didn't happen in the night. Like I woke up. In right, the, or they would have I mean, we smelled up. it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we were partying till like five o'clock in the morning. So they must have like woke up, gone to work, and then I was the man of the house and just shit in a shoe like in the daytime, which makes it that much more depressing. It really does. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get with you on that morning sun still. Yeah, it's like coming up. <laughs> sun's in my eyes and I'm taking a dump. <laughs> In a Nike. Oh my god! But I have the uh, I ha I sent this. I have the message somewhere on Facebook. <laughs> it's like so insane, and um, they actually were pretty cool because they were like 22. So I had sent this long Facebook message, being like, "I'm the worst person. I've never drank. Like this has never happened." To me. And I sent them 300 bucks. And I remember calling Nate Bargatze and being like, is that too much? Is that weird? And he's like, I don't think there's an amount. <laughs> yeah, send. right. There's not. But they're going to be like, what? Um, so I sent him 300 bucks, which was like a huge amount of my money at the time. I was broke. And uh, I wrote a long apology. And again, the fact that they were 22 helped. I think if they were in their 30s, they would have fucking called the police. Oh, my God. Um, and then I almost went on a date with the girl whose shoe it was. After that? Yeah, because I... How in the hell did you even... Well, I think I'm a, I'm a nice guy. So I went, eventually I went back there and was like, hey. And like Nate kind of went and like, Nate was like my guardian. He like went and kind of talked to them beforehand. 
And uh, I was like, I, again, I'm really sorry. And she's like, it's cool. Like just whatever it happens. And I had tickets to go see a Letterman taping. And I was like, would you want to go with me to that? And she was like, sure. And then something ended up coming up. Like, she was like, ah, oh, maybe her friend was like, you can't go on a date Yeah, with this guy. right. But anyway, she ended up canceling and it never worked out. But um, yeah, it was, it was definitely like a low point. And then I continued to drink. Like, I should have quit. And I remember thinking that night when I got to Seattle, I remember thinking, well, I'm going to drink again eventually. So I might as well just drink tonight. And I ended up drinking that night. So that was like a bottom. And I just kind of hung out on the bottom. <laughs> 